So a place like the Hope and Healing Place gives the whole family a place to be together. I love the model that the adults are with other adults talking about their grief and how to help their children. But the kids are with their peer group and through stories and, and play and, re and reading and art, they learn to express themselves uh, in a safe and supportive environment. So often for children and teenagers, they withdraw into their grief because they feel like they're the only ones that are hurting. And when they come to a place like Hope and Healing Place, they find a safe and supportive environment where they're with others their own age and trained leaders, facilitators, who help them process their grief. They can talk about it. They can even get to the point where they laugh with each other, uh, not ignoring the grief, but realizing that there can still be some fun in life. Well, this is our Generations program. This is evening seven of our Generations program. They come here eight times. This is a program we run twice a year. And this particular night is Birdhouse Painting Night. Each of the families, after being in their own age-appropriate support group for the last six sessions, tonight gather as a family and paint a birdhouse in, the mem in memory of their deceased loved one. They all pick colors and symbols that memorialize their loved one. And for many kids especially, but adults too, the, these birdhouses Houses that eventually go into our memory garden outside are places that they can come to remember their loved one and remember the hope that they found here in processing their grief and sometimes it's a little easier to visit than say a graveside. So. Well grief is a natural response to love. Someone said if we didn't love we wouldn't grieve and so when we find ourselves grieving, it's not a bad thing. It's a natural response, and it's good to surround ourselves with other people who are also grieving and people who can facilitate the expressions of our own grief. One of the healthiest things we can do is express our grief rather than holding it inside. Because it saved my life. Honestly, I saw the darkest of days. And if it weren't for the Lord and, and church and people that supported me, I wouldn't, I would honestly not be here today. And I hate to say that because I'm not selfish in a way to my kids, but that's honestly how I felt at that moment. What you've seen in the birdhouse night is really the results of the journey that these families have been on. If you were here the very first night, uh, you'd find a lot of quiet and somber, a lot of uncertainty because they don't know who they're going to be with and what's going to happen. But by the time these families journey together with the supportive care of the leaders here and the facilitators, they have come to the point where they can smile and laugh and they can interact with each other. And you're really seeing uh, sort of a metamorphosis in their lives, all because they've got the support they needed and an opportunity to express their feelings. And their stories are sad, very sad. And certainly that is an emotion that they experience and sometimes anger and sometimes regret and many other things that go along with their grief journey. But we wouldn't call this the Hope and Healing Place if people didn't find hope while they were here. And so there you get to experience tonight the kind of the, the tail end of their journey here where they found hope again and found joy and, and it's pretty special. I think the knowledge of the Hope and Healing Place as a community resource for the Panhandle is good for everyone to be aware of so that when they or their friends or other family members have the need, they realize that there's a safe and supportive place that's free of charge that they can come to or they can refer others to.